For your next project, you're going to create a book jacket and you're going to use the Google Drawing application to achieve this goal. First thing I want you to do is to click on Create and go down to Drawing. And then you always want to title it so that you'll remember what it is the next time you work on this project. I'm going to call mine Swindle since that's the book I read. First thing you can do is right click on your page and go down to Background. This will allow you to change the background color. I'm just going to do a really light yellow color for now. And I need to insert the spine. So I'm going to go to Insert, go down to Shape, and I want to do a rectangle that has curves on it, so rounded rectangle. I'm going to start about in the middle of my page and go down somewhere like this. You can see a red line at the bottom. That means it's about right where I want it. I can change the fill color so it's maybe a black color can always change the colors at a later time. I can also slide this over if it's not exactly where I want it. Then I need to type in the title of the book. So I want to go to Insert Word Art, and my book is called Swindle. It'll be too big for this, so I want to line it up with the red, and then I want to resize it so it will fit on the cover of my book. I can also change the color of this. I can go to maybe a red color, and I can change the outline color to a gray. If I don't like that, I can just change it right back to a black. So that looks good so far. Then I want to find a cover image for my book. I don't want to just find the cover of the book, I want to find an image that works for the book. So I'm going to go to Tools Research, I'm going to go down to Images, and this book was about baseball cards. I'm going to type in baseball cards, I'm going to search and find a really good baseball card. This one looks good. I'm going to drag that over. Give it a second to create the image. And this book was also about a Doberman Pinscher. So I'm going to type in the Doberman Pinscher. Okay. That looks just like the dog from the, from the book. So I'm going to put that on there as well. And then I'm also going to leave a little bit of space as my pictures are lined up there. I'm going to leave a little bit of space at the bottom for the author's name. I need to do that in a text box. So I'm going to click on text box. I'm just going to draw a text box. And this particular author's name is Gordon Corman. I can highlight it. I can change the text color. If I want to make it a red or I can make it bigger if I need to maybe size 24 or something like that. I can leave it like that. So, so far that looks pretty good. A couple things I can add to it. If your book cover has like a special award that they won, you can go up to shape and you can get maybe a, a circle and you can put the circle and maybe this says uh, Newberry winner or something like that. And then I can draw my text box, award or something like that. If they if it won an a special a special award, I can put that on there as well. The back of my cover, this is where your story is going to go. This is the summary, the teaser of your book. You want to just make it short and sweet, but you want to give the students enough information to know about your book. Here again, you're going to insert a text box, and you're probably going to want to put a text box up, up top, and this text box will be where you can put a brief teaser. So this is where your book teaser goes. Then you're going to want to do another text box. I don't want to overlap the text boxes, so I'm going to put this text box down here. And this is where the awards and famous quotes about your book go. So for instance, if your book contained anything that said, Another person read this book and it was amazing and they put their put a famous quote to it. You can put that there. The spine of the book. This should have the title of the book and also has the last name, the author's last name. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to do a right click copy. I'm going to do a whoops. I'm going to go down just a little bit and do a right click paste. Now if you notice it's right here. I need to spin this. So I'm going to grab the circle on the top and spin it so it goes right on, my, on the spine of the book. That looks pretty good. If I want to make it smaller, I can double click it, 
I can re-type the word if I need to or something like that. That looks good to me. And then I want to, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to make this a little bit smaller so it fits better. Whoops, that did my, the whole spine. So I'm gonna take that back down. And if you find something that didn't work, you can change it or whatever you need to. I also need the publishing company. And you can find the publishing company on your current book cover. Another fun thing to put on the back is a barcode. And just search for any barcode. You can put a barcode back here. This is what the store uses when you purchase the book. So I'm just going to put my barcode over here. I don't need it to be very big, so I'm going to shrink this down. It's just a little part of the book. You can also put the publishing company. If I knew the publishing company, if they had a special logo, I could put that on there. I believe Aladdin Publishing Company is one and this is the symbol right here so if I wanted to put this on there I could put this on there you want to make it look as authentic and real as possible I'm just gonna put that right over here for now and again yours will look a little different you're gonna add some different images your goal is not to copy the current edition your goal is to make this bigger and better and again if you don't like the color you can go to background I can change the color, maybe I want to do red. Oh, that looks pretty awesome. But then I need to change this text color. So lots of fun things to play around with. And if you go back to your document, I already listed all of the things that you need to include on your book jacket. If there's any questions, please let me know or try to figure it out on your own. Try something if it doesn't work, try something a different way. Thank you very much.